Hey you guys. Okay, I can't talk very loud because my roommate's still asleep. And I was gonna go in the study room, but there's a guy asleep in there, so that's not gonna work out. So I'm really sorry that I haven't done a vlog in a really long time. I've been super busy, and right now I'm trying to pretend that I'm not getting sick. It's a lie. So I'm doing this vlog because I'm waiting for my two loads of laundry to get done and I'm waiting to go to breakfast and I really wanted to talk to you guys so <laughs> I skipped church this morning so I haven't had some time. Bad George Fox too. So some of the things I've been doing lately. Yesterday I went to the Evergreen Marching Man competition which was awesome because Grants Pass beat West because they deserved it because I'm really tired of Todd Zimbelman winning everything including state last year, which I didn't think they deserved either, even though they went over time. I thought Grant's Pass's show concept was really cool because it was about traffic, and like that seems really stupid and abstract, but they pulled it off really well, so I thought that was cool. So, watching marching bands is like one thing that inspires me for some weird reason, because all band directors are like, oh, marching band's so stupid, it's so bad for you, and like it is really bad for you, it's bad for your playing, it's bad for your amateur, it's bad for you ergonomically, and it's just bad, and it's terrible, and it takes too much work and money, but for some reason I'm crazy about it. So I have never composed anything in my life, but I am crazy enough to decide that I want to compose a marching band show, <laughs> and it's going to be about space, and I'm really excited, and I kind of wanted to call it Quasar, because I think that's a cool name. And movement one would be called supernova, movement two would be called nebula, and movement three would be called black hole. I mean, how cool is that for a marching band show? And I have all this ideas for the concept, and I've already started, like, I've already got a baritone solo written for movement two, and kind of a cool theme for movement three, which ended up being about tritones. I know that's, like, corny and spacey, but it sounds really cool, and that's just what came out. Um, which is funny, because, like, um, I don't compose stuff because usually I just end up writing down whatever's stuck in my head, and it's not mine, and it's cheating. But, um, like, when I try and compose things, it's not like I have something in my head and I just have to write it down. It's like, all the ingredients are there, and then I have to, like, compile them all, and then, like, see what that makes, and try it out, and then if it works, then I write down the recipe, you know what I'm saying? Kind of. <laughs> But hey, hey. Uh, my roommate came in. I had to explain to her what I was doing. That was awkward. Okay. So the weird thing about this composing thing is that like, a I've never composed, and you know I plan on this taking like four to five years to be completed because it doesn't matter because I I'm gonna need like a really good big band to play it. And that's not gonna happen in the first few years of my career, so it's okay. And, um, like the funny part about this is that I never really finish anything. <laughs> like, all sorts of projects that I do, I never finish them. Like, I think the first big thing that I finished, um, I almost finished, I haven't quite finished it yet, but I, I'm gonna follow through because it's almost done, is the uh, piece that I arranged for handles, which was. It was just a bunch of Christmas songs, so it's not like I wrote anything, but I just like arranged it all for handles and made a memory out of it. And we're gonna play it at the Christmas concert, which is gonna be cool, and you should all come, especially you, Chrissy. But yeah, I like never finish anything from like drawings. Like, I haven't finished this from the Killer Bono that's driving me crazy that I never have time to draw. And I never finished my fanfics, which is another story completely. And even when I intend to finish things, I just don't get done. But, like, I'm really, really motivated to finish this at the moment, which is funny for me. Something that's been kind of weird for me lately is, like, when I came up with this whole idea for writing a show, and I was, like, just thinking about, oh my gosh, what's my future band going to be like? And what's it going to be like if I get to direct high school, if I ever get a job? And I was thinking a lot about it. And um, in the past, well, being a teacher, I've always been like, yeah, I'll probably be a teacher, you know, I'm like, like, for the family instead or something, I don't know, whatever God wants me to do, I'll probably be happy doing it, 
and I was never, I'm never, I'm not a really passionate person, I was never really passionate about anything, but for some reason, like yesterday, I was like, oh my gosh, I want this job, I want to do this so badly, and I was just like, I actually think that I love this job now, and I don't really know why, <laughs> but I just, I just wanted it so badly, and like, it's, it's crazy how the second that I thought about that, I was like, that's terrible, what if God has a different plan for me, and then I'm just gonna hate it, and life's gonna suck, and I don't get, I won't get to do what I want, which I guess is partly why I never, like, actually go for anything, like, I work really hard for stuff, but I don't really, like, desire it, you know what I mean? And the second I did, I was, like, really afraid of it being taken away, but I saw it on God's hands anyway, and, you know, God gives us those desires, so I'm really confused right now, but I'm also, like, really scared, and I'm also trying to trust God, which is hard, because I'm trying to learn to love God first, you know what I mean? I mean, we all are, but it's really hard, <laughs> and it's a huge learning process, and I feel like I'm a really slow learner. <laughs> In other news, um, oh, <laughs> Mara, I don't know if I told you this, but um, me and Hillary had this thing. We got together and talked over the summer one night. We stayed up way too late talking, and then we um, we decided that, like, we both realized that we had this idea in our heads that after we graduated, we were going to be 23 and single and, like, without a real job for a while. And so we decided that we should live together because <laughs> we're both going to be pathetic, and then that we should get a big fluffy dog and share him. And a couple days ago, I decided that we should name it Rachmaninoff because he's like one of my favorite composers and we can call him Rocky for short and that would be pretty sweet but in other news the worst part of my week is that you know I got a little cut on my hand it's not that bad but the worst part is my Wolverine band-aids don't make it heal any faster <laughs> it's really obnoxious and the other most exciting thing that's happened to me all week is I bought bananas at Fred Meyers yesterday that was pretty exciting. Oh, and I also found out that I have a $10 Starbucks gift card that I didn't know about, which is exciting. <sighs> oh yeah, caffeine. I'm probably going to get addicted to it this year. I'm trying really, really hard not to, but um, I went and observed at the elementary school like I always do with my friend Brittany, and all the all these like 25-year-old lady teachers are clutching their coffee mugs, and it's like, like sucking the juice of life out of them, and I was like, Brittany, should I wait until I'm a teacher to get addicted to caffeine, or should I just start now? And she was like, just start now. And I was like, that's probably what's going to happen. So if I go crazy this year, that's why, because I don't get any sleep, because I have classes at 7.40 in the morning at the latest, every day. And I know, Chrissy, you wake up early too, but seriously, like, it's ridiculous. So I really miss you guys, and I'm actually recording this on Sunday, if you didn't catch that because I won't have time during the rest of the week, and hopefully I'll have time to edit this and get it up by Wednesday. That would be really nice. But I kind of want to go compose a little bit and see if anything comes out before I work. So, bye. Love you all. Have a good week.